Today, we're going to be adding the rock crawl feature to our goat modes in our two-door base model Bronco. First thing we're going to do is plug in our OBD2 cable into our port inside the vehicle. The next thing we're going to do to get started is go to the forescan.org website. Click on the products tab. You'll need to purchase a one or three year extended license in order to access the modules needed for this upgrade. Once you've downloaded the software and created your profile, look for this icon on your laptop. Click on the icon and after the software opens up, you're ready to get started. Now that the OBD link cable is inserted into the car, connect the USB side of the cable into your laptop. The green light will let you know that the cable is activated. Next, we're gonna turn the vehicle on, but without starting it. We'll do that by leaving our foot off the brake and pressing the ignition button one time. Take your cursor and scroll to the bottom left corner and click on the connect to vehicle button. A warning will occur stating that your adapter is not optimized for maximum performance. We've never needed to use this, so we click no. Now it will ask you to save a profile of your vehicle. I highly recommend doing this just in case you ever need to revert your software back to its stock form. The software is now accessing all of the modules to your vehicle. This could take anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds. Once complete, we will scroll over to the configuration and programming tab located here. Head over to the ABS module configuration in the as-built format. Highlight the module, then scroll to the bottom left corner and click the play or run service procedure button. A warning will appear, reminding you that changing your configuration is potentially not safe. Incorrect values can cause your modules to function improperly and another reason to save your stock data configuration. Scroll and click OK. This is the screen where all of our GOAT mode functions can be changed. Before we go any further, here is a list of all the potential modes available at this time for all Bronco models. Because our vehicle is not equipped with the locking differential option, we cannot fully take advantage of modes like Baja or Mud and Ruts, so we will be focusing on the Rock Crawl mode. First, take a look at the far left column. We will be focusing on 760 dash zero four dash zero three then move to the middle column labeled zero 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 one we are going to be changing the last digit from a one to a three after the change is made scroll over to the right button and click a warning will appear asking you if you are sure the data that was entered is correct hit yes during the reflash you will hear the modules audibly reset. This procedure can take anywhere between 5 and 10 seconds. Once the flash is complete, an information bar will appear telling you that the module was programmed successfully. Press OK. After the software has been updated, you need to perform a full key cycle before continuing. We'll do that by turning the ignition off, letting all of the modules shut down, then turn the ignition back on. This could also take between 10 and 15 seconds. Now that the vehicle's been flashed, we're gonna check our rock crawl mode to make sure it functions properly before we go through our cable disconnect procedure. Your new rock crawl mode should now be accessible from your GOAT mode selector. This mode will put your vehicle into four wheel drive low while removing the traction control. If your vehicle is equipped with the locking differentials, it will also automatically lock your rear diff. Once we confirm that the rock crawl mode is accessible, remember to change the GOAT selector back into a drivable mode and return the vehicle to park. With the software updated and our vehicle in park, we can go ahead and start our disconnect procedure. We'll start by heading down to the bottom left corner and clicking on the Stop Service Procedure button. Now go to the top left and click on the Vehicle and Interface Information button. Then once again scroll to the bottom of the screen and hit the disconnect from vehicle button. Now it is safe to disconnect the OBD cable from your vehicle and from the computer. Now that our rock crawl mode is installed, it's time to hit the trails. This is the tip of the iceberg of what our Forescan software can do to help modify your vehicle. Be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one and I'll catch you in the next one.